quick, quick. So today we are now do, uh, doing decimals into percentages. So it does not matter what you have, if you have a decimal or a fraction. If you're converting a number into a percent, you times it by 100. If you're converting a percentage into a number, whether it's a fraction or a decimal, you divide by 100. So it doesn't matter whether there was a fraction here or a decimal. Converting from a decimal or a fraction to a percentage, what do we do? Times by 100. And going from a percentage to a decimal or a fraction, we do divide by 100. So let's do these questions. Write as a fraction. So it is a percentage. We are writing it as a fraction. So we divide it by 100. That's it. Can we simplify it? Are there any numbers 17 and 100 are both divisible by? No. Next one. Write it as a fraction. So 18 over 100. The moment you divide by 100, the percentage sign is gone. It's no longer a percentage. And that's what you need to be mindful of. Now, 18 and 100, they have a number that they're both divisible by. What number is that? Nine. Two? So, 18 divided by 2 is? Nine. And 100 divided by 2 is? Fifty. And I think that's it. Answer. Okay? Next one. Write as a decimal. What do we do? Percentage to decimal. Have a look. Percentage to decimal. What do we do? Divide by? Divide by? Now, you're not writing it as a fraction, though you're writing as a decimal. Same question. This is writing as a fraction. This is writing as a decimal. So a recap on how do we divide by 100. If we're dividing something by 100, we move the decimal two places to the left. Okay? Now, so here's the decimal. So we'll move it two places to the left. What do we get? 0.17. And isn't that right anyways because it's 17 over 100? How many zeros? Two. How many decimal places? Two. So one, two. So you can skip this step and write 0.17 if it's a one mark question. Okay? Thank you. Next one. Again, 81.09 over a hundred. Now, you are dividing a decimal by a hundred. How many zeros are you dividing by? Two. So you move the decimal two places to the left. One, two. So answer is 0 0.810. Make sense? Next one, 0.62%. So 0 0.62 over a hundred. And we are moving the decimal two places to the left. So one, two. So decimal will come here. And what will we fill this gap with? Zero. 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 That's it. Okay? That's why we did decimals before we did percentages. Now, 0.8%. 0.8 over 100. Move the decimal two places to the left. left. Fill the gap with? Zero. zero. Make sense? So we're still dividing by 100 if we're converting from a percentage. Converting to a percentage, we times by 100. Write as a percentage. From decimal to percentage, what do we do? Times by 100. So 0.28 times 100. Now the shortcut is when we're multiplying by 100, because we're multiplying by two zeros, we move the decimal two places to the right. We're making the number bigger. So two places to the right. What will be the answer? 28. But as soon as you times by 100, you put a percent sign. So 0.24461. Times 100 percent. Moving the decimal, two places to the right, 24.461 percent. Moving the decimal, how many places to the right? Two. Two. 3.2 percent. Now, this is a mixed number. Remember how we convert a mixed number into a fraction? Yep. Yeah, so first we need 10 times 7. Yep, 10 times 7 is? 70. 70 plus 3. <coughs> so this is the first step. It's still a fraction. I now need it to convert it to a percentage. So how do we convert it to a percentage? Times by? 100. So next step, times by 100 and then percent. Can I divide both by 10? Yep. Yes. So 730 percent. Make sense? 
That's it, Toby's done for you. Get on with the work.